Most of North Dakota's corn goes to energy production. Jacob Norderman joins us now on what the investigation could mean for North Dakota. Jacob? Monica, every year the U.S. is legally obligated to create a certain amount of ethanol, and that responsibility is shared amongst the various energy firms. However, for years now, the ethanol industry has complained about the use of small refinery waivers, which allows smaller companies to not, to not make their share of ethanol. It's not that it's, it's us versus them mentality, but we just want to make sure that everybody's playing by the, by the same rule book. Because it certainly appears, you know, that there's some favoritism being uh, allowed to certain companies, uh, certain oil companies, uh, that we certainly don't see uh, in the ethanol world. After a letter with thousands of signatures was sent to the White House, the GAO agreed to investigate the DOE's use of the waivers, which many in the industry believe is the reason the country missed its ethanol production target by billions of gallons. With tariffs and harvest issues being regular hurdles for the ethanol industry, it's seen its fair share of fights. And with dozens of plants around the country closing in just the past few years, North Dakota's five plants remain online. Monica?